Right. Well, we were looking for instruments for the concert. There is a piano here. Maybe Sharon can play for us. Hey everyone, welcome back to more Legend of Hero, Trails of Cold Steel. I'm Slayer Matheson last time. Saw a little bit of an incident go down between the RMP and the Provincial Army. And it was we got to Elisa's house. And this time, we are going to explore Elisa's house. Plans for the concert going okay? Yep, they sure are. We said we'll be on what instruments and have a good idea of what our two songs are going to sound like. We should have everything pretty set by the time this trip's over. But then I'm hoping we'll be able to show what we've got to the rest of the class. Fantastic. Sounds like things are really coming together then. Let me know if there's anything I can do. I'd be glad to pitch in. Sure thing. I want performance to be at least as good as the one Crow and the others put on last year. If not better. We're almost there. Just gotta get a few more things sorted out first. Yo, good timing. Torn between these two designs for the girls' concerts. Which revs your engine more, A or B? Let's see. Whoa, back it up! Neither of these! If you wanna lock in the guys' votes, we're gonna give them what they want. Push those boundaries of good taste. Then we go in for the kill with a little wardrobe malfunction at the end and victory's as good as ours. It won't be anything but a trip to the principal's office if we get banned from participating. First, you need to make them a little bit less revealing. You actually make that a lot less revealing. And what's up with these little comments on the margins? Optimal bounce vectors? Show them titties? Are you serious? Ugh, I knew we were overdue for a long talk about your prudish tendencies. Well, those issues aside, the basic signs both look pretty good. I'm leaning toward B. I think it look good on everyone. Yeah, is that so? Alright, I just want a little more polish then. You got the general outline pretty much squared away. Now all we need is to nail down the outfits and the songs. I'm sure it'll all come together. You yeah, just leave this to us. When we pull off the show, we're gonna be school legends. I just enjoy the fact that the phrase show them titties is in a game. Show them titties is in a game. Would you like another cup of coffee, Master Machias? Oh, yes, please. What about you, Master Reen? I'd be happy to take your cup directly to Lady Elise's room if that's what you'd like. Uh, or you could just, you know, bring it out here. That'd be great. Surfing guests is but one of one of, is but one of a maid's many duties. So let me know if there's anything I can do to make you feel more at home. Anything at all. Sometimes I get the feeling that she feeds off my discomfort. Wait, this room's amazing. So many books here on such a panoply of different subjects. It's as though you never again need to visit a library. And I guess it's safe to say it meets with your approval. Yeah, you could say that. It's not every day I see such a well curated collection. I feel a little giddy. Sharon told me this room and the one adjacent were once Gwyn's private rooms. She means all the books here were part of his personal collection. Wow. It seemed like a really smart guy with a lot of different interests, so I guess it makes sense that you have a mountain of books like this. I never had the opportunity to meet him, but he must be quite the Renaissance man. I'm gonna park myself in here and luxuriate in this buffet of knowledge for the evening, I think. What a nerd! Machius enjoys books! <laughs> What a nerd! <laughs> Pathetic. Anyways, moving down. You can see. We can go into the girls' room. It's me, Reen. Can I come in? Oh, hi, it's Reen. Of course. Oh, so this is your room, huh? It's a lot bigger than what I've guessed. Really nice and tidy, too. Nice view from the window. Honestly, were you raised in a barn? You don't just roam around a girl's room checking everything out. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Well, these days, my mother is the only one who even uses this floor. So much space, it must feel pretty lonely having it all to herself. Lisa? Just a passing thought. You know, it's because there's a boy in your room. You can always find somewhere else. It's fine, don't leave. I mean, yeah, it's the first time a guy's been in my room, but... Hey, you tricked me into admitting that! But I don't ask you to say anything. Don't fight, you two. Well, seeing as we'll be spending a few nights here, I might as well start getting things set up. You don't need to volunteer to help, you know. You do have Sharon on the payroll for housekeeping. I know. That's a nice room. Great view, too. The windows are even bulletproof. Should get a nice, a good night's sleep here. Don't really think that's something you need to worry about. With Elisa and Fee, we can play a game of Blade. Now, one thing that I accidentally found out 
So it doesn't matter if you win or lose, you get the 50 bond experience anyways. Take this. Um, what I want you to do is get significantly ahead of me, Fee. Mirror. Mirror. Mm, guess I lost. I accidentally won. Okay, I wanted to show off a way that you can easily lose. Um, just real quick. You got our speed running strats. I'm never gonna be a speed runner. Let's get started. Maybe I can show off with Elisa's game. Come on, draw a card. Oh, same score. We better draw again. I'll All right. You then. All right. So, you know what? So, so you get the 50 bond experience whether you win or lose, right? <laughs> just lose right away. I won. Don't even bother playing. Easy as that. When we head upstairs and get near the piano, I just want to check if it was actually if things changed when we got there specifically. Huh? I have one sure knows something. I'm not sure see if she'll tell me anything. Can't hurt to try. And now everyone has new dialogue. That's just me, but does the chairman's sudden cancellation not strike her slightly out of character? Seeing how much of a multitasking virtuoso she is, you'd expect her schedule to have the weight of the law. But it seems unusual that she suddenly canceled her dinner plans with us. It's not just you, I thought the same thing. I'm concerned that something out of the ordinary came up. I only hope tomorrow brings us some hint as to what happened. She's worried about Elisa. I'm not going to hold back. Don't worry. You're going well, to then, go ahead and draw. That's... I'll go first then. Bolt. That's Bolt. a shame. Let's just Bolt. Yes, yes, Bolt. I get it. I I get it. Mirror. Now you've done it. Now you've done it. I I, I get it. You have you have bolts. We're even. We'll have to redraw. And this it is basically like going to be luck of the draw. <laughs> looks like I win this time. Yeah. Though I really shouldn't have in that case, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Blade, sadly, kind of uninteresting. Here? There's nothing. There's nothing for us. Really? I thought there was... Huh. I guess I don't have new dialogue. Oh well. Can we play Blade with Crow? Nope. Huh. I could have sworn they had different dialogue. Well, that might just be when we talk to the next one. Oh, okay, so it was, it's just after Sharon. Oh, Masterine, is there something I can help you with? Perhaps you like to wash your you like to wash your back but need some help with those hard to reach spots? Not to worry, I'm here to help. I think I'll pass. Actually, Sharon, is Elisa's mother really alright? There's no need to worry about the chairman. It's not as though she's wrestling with some abnormally large crisis or anything like that. Though I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the specifics with you. I understand that, but I can't help think about that quarrel between the Provincial Army and the RMP we saw this evening. And I'm guessing the reason she couldn't make it is related to that somehow. In that way you just like to throw potential theories out there reminds me of Lady Sarah. Perhaps that's thanks to her guidance as your instructor. Not really sure about that, but your lack of denial tells me I'm on the right track. You may interpret it however you see fit. However, I'd like to reassure you that there's no need for you to worry about the chairman. I'd much rather see you direct your concern toward Lady Elisa. Alright. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. Don't worry, Masterine. A maid must always be able to serve guests. Still, are you certain you don't feel like you need a rejuvenating back scrub? I'd be happy to give you a stimulating massage, too, if that's your wish. Stimulating? I, I, I mean, I'm okay. Thank you. Now, people have shuffled around. Or, they will be. Uh. Let's direct your concern toward Lady Elisa. This might prove an opportune chance for you, after all. Opportune for what? Lisa, I don't know what she's doing. Maybe I should go see. 
And now everyone's actually shuffled around. Okay. I wasn't sure if Sharon had new dialogue after the... The character shuffle. Alisa? Looks like she's going out on the terrace. Oh, maybe she does have something weighing on her mind then. That's true, we should do what we can for her. Her team after all. Yeah, you're right. V's really changed. I still remember how she was at the start of the year. It was true of everyone in Class 7 though. I do really like the character growth in this game. Everyone, very, very live characters. Now, Machius, do you actually have... Considering something out of the ordinary came up, the fourth ch 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 chairman to cancel the general plans with us. I hope tomorrow brings some hint as to what happened. It's a little bit different, but not really too much. But it's something. It's like Elisa got something on her mind. If the chairman's sudden change in plans has something to do with what happened earlier. You know this too? Of course I did. You practically see it on her face. There's something big going down the river. Something big. Maybe we should take some time here and there tomorrow to look into it. That'd be good. <laughs> Crow, right, I'm ready started. to lose to you in Blade. Go on, draw a card. You're first. <laughs> You're gonna have to do there better than that. Of course, now that I actually want to lose very quickly, they're not gonna let me. Uh, I did discover that by accident. Uh, I'm sure it's something that's been well known for a while. Yo, Elliot. We'll finish brainstorming ideas for the concert? Yeah, just about. Hey, Lee, aren't you worried about what happened earlier? Of course I am. The RMP and the provincial armies have never been on great terms, but driving armored cars onto city streets? I can't help but feeling that there's a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. I think we could look into it a little tomorrow if we get a chance. I think Elise has been really worried about it, too. Yeah. And let's go in <laughs> quick lose me, okay? to Elliot in Blade. Okay then, let's draw! Looks like you're up first. <laughs> and there I we win. go! I'm pretty sure that's actually how I kind of discovered it. I was turboing through, uh, doing an off-screen one basically, and that happened. I just kind of spam the button. <laughs> hey, Elisa. Oh, it's you. Sorry, were you worried? A little, yeah. Seeing you like that just kind of reminded me of that night in Nord. Oh, right. Oh, I'm so pathetic. I keep going on about how I'm going to be independent, but then I get all worked up over something as trivial as this. Seeing the city from above at night is really something, though. And to think, you got to take in a beautiful view like this every night growing up. Yeah, I guess so. It used to be my grandfather, my father, and my mother here. Then after my father died, Sharon joined us. But through the years, my family has always enjoyed seeing the lighted windows of Ruhr at night. Something that never changed, huh? I guess it is to you what Ymir's mountains are to me. <laughs> Maybe every family has something like that. Still, first my grandfather left, and now Sharon and I aren't here most of the time either. Mother just stays here all on her own. Every time I think of that, I just feel like crying. It breaks my heart. I can't understand why she chooses to be so alone. I thought so. You're not just angry at her then. <laughs> well, she gets under my skin, that's nothing new. But if I was in her place, I don't know how I'd cope. I couldn't live like she does, losing herself in her work all alone with no friends or loved ones by her side. She wasn't like that before, back when my dad was still alive. She's always been a career woman, but back then she was kind, funny. She had this warmth, you know? But ever since dad passed away, she hasn't been the same. Work became her life. She pushed Grandfather out as chairman, all for what? More work? I've never seen her indulge herself. Not even once. If she isn't dining with some business partner, she eats nutrition bars instead of meals. Sharon scolds her for it, but... That's how she is. And that's why I'm scared. 
I don't want life to just pass her by. That's really sweet, Elisa. Uh, where did that come from? You're always looking out for the people in your life. Even when they get on your nerves, you still care about them. It's like how you and I were at first, or how you were with Laura and Fee. Heck, I still remember how you told me off for hurting my sister's feelings. You've been keeping an eye out for Milliam all this time, too. And you should know that we're all really grateful to you for it. Especially me. <sighs> I'm worried about what's happening here in Ruwer, too. This is your home, and your mother might be caught up in whatever's going on. I think we should look into it. What do you say? What? But with all our field study tasks, where would we find the time? Why not do it while we're out handling those? Making some headway is always better than making none, right? I mean, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Everyone else does too. Fee cares. So does Elliot. Machias does too. Even Crow's been concerned about you. We can use our time in the city to poke around and find out more about what's going on. You know, kind of like we always do. Well... If you say so, but I'll save the thanks for later. Hmm. I doubt Sharon will tell us anything, no matter how much we pester her. But I'll ask around and see if anyone I know has any idea what might be going on. It shouldn't be too late to give some of them a call, at least. All right, I'll leave the info gathering to you. Once we get our task list tomorrow, we can discuss how we want to do this. All right. Anyway, I think I'm going to start calling my contacts. And one more thing. If I were you, I wouldn't go around stroking girls' heads like that. I mean, you don't just go whispering sweet nothings into any girl's ear, do you? This isn't so different, really. Huh? Uh, oh, I guess you're right. Sorry, it's something I always did to my sister when she was feeling down. But now that you mention it, she did seem to resent it more as she got older. But when I stopped doing it, she called me insensitive and got all upset anyway. I think your sister and I would have a lot to talk about. But anyway, I'll see you later. All right. Well, she seems like she's feeling better now. I just hope our efforts will turn up some good leads. A lot of times in JRPGs, a lot of times in just RPGs in general, they kind of have two characters that are very obviously paired together. So, you know, you'll... This game, it's not really surprised. It ships Green and Elisa together. A lot of times, it's... Eh, it's fine. It's not the best. I do prefer other options a lot of times, but... This one, I just really like the dynamic between Rin and Elisa. You know, they're both, you know, they're both not perfect characters. They have their flaws to them, but, you know, they still complement each other well. And this is one of the times that I'm definitely going to be going through with the Rin and Elisa ship. Although, Toa's getting up there. Huh? Call functionality works here? I guess it would, seeing as we're right in the headquarters of the company that built these. Maybe it's the instructor. Hello. Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, good. It went through. Glad I was able to get your number from Milliam. Is this... Captain Claire? It is. I apologize for calling so late. Are you free right now? Yeah. What's up? There's something important I'd like to discuss with you. But it's a matter best discussed in person. Would it be possible for you to meet me in the city? Sooner is preferable. Like, 
right now? Um, would this happen to be related to our field study? Technically speaking, yes. But with the Provincial Army on alert, traveling in a large group would draw too much suspicion. That's why I decided to contact you directly. You're the team leader. People keep saying that, but I never recall agreeing to it. But, sure, I guess. I'll head out right now. Where should I meet you? Go to the upper level. On the south side of the elevated walkway, you'll see a bar called F. It's a quiet, upscale establishment. The perfect place for a private discussion. A bar called F on the south side of the upper level. Got it. I'll head there right away. I'll be waiting. I'm not on a schedule or anything, though, so there's no need to rush. You've got time. And, by the way, I'd rather you didn't mention any of this to Elisa. Huh? Why? Because what I want to discuss with you happens to involve the Reinford Company. But I'll leave it to your discretion. Anyway, you know where to find me. It feels a bit cruel to keep only Elisa out of the loop. But it sounds like it's pretty important. I think it'd be better to go now and tell everyone else about it later.